I'm moving through the transverse plane, I'm moving through the sagittal plane, and I'm moving through that frontal plane. So all three planes of motion, all of my tissues, all of my joints, combining together to create this smile or this arc-like movement. What's going on guys? Master Coach Aaron Guy at Master Coach of Battle Ropes with Living.fit, also the Education Director, and we're doing the boom! Three most powerful movements you can do with a battle rope. So how powerful can you be if you're only moving in one plane of motion? I'm gonna say not that powerful. And the reason being, power comes from the sequencing and timing through all of the musculature, all of the tissues, all bound up and rolling into one. Think about when you were at the roller rink as a kid. Maybe you weren't, maybe I'm a little old and so I was the only kid at the roller rink with my roller skates. But we played this little game called Crack the Whip. And what we did is we everybody got online, we grabbed and everybody skated with their little, their roller skates, right? And the little person on the end of that line, right? This, this person on, on the slow end would just kind of do this small little turn. And then the second person would do kind of a bigger turn. And then the third person would do an even a bigger turn, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And that 10th person probably ended up in the hospital because they would just get flung all the way into the, into the wall. And from time to time I could be that person and it was amazing. And yeah, so that, that crack the whip is the same concept with these three powerful movements. So kind of like your sagittal movement where I've got triple or even quadruple extension that I can use to generate power, but I'm missing a huge component up here and even down my arms, right? To generate more and more momentum, more and more centripetal force to create that massive amount of power. So in order to do the massive amount of power, you need to incorporate all three planes of motion and every single joint up the chain from your toe up to your nose and then down to your, I can't think of something that rhymes with toes and nose, but fingers. Okay, so here I've got the arc, right? So this rainbow is one of the most powerful movements. And the reason being is I've got this rotation that's happening here, right? Just like a fighter's punch, right? Or a, a soccer person's kick, right? <clears throat> or a football person's kick right? Or uh, even like a swimmer, right? I guess it doesn't go to the ground. Um, or somebody throwing something, right? It's going to start here at the ground. So I've got axial femoral rotation happening here in my leg. Then from there, it's going to start tra transferring up to my hips. And then from my hips, it's going to transfer through my T-spine. And then from my T-spine, it's going to transfer through to my shoulder and pec. And then shoulder and pec, it's gonna be elbow, and then even a little bit of the wrist. So if I'm trying to generate power, I'm gonna coil up here and then explode, boom, boom, right? All the way through. So as those things add up, now I'm generating a ton of power output, a ton of force through my entire body to create this arc. And then if I wanna generate even more power, I have to actually stop and then go exactly the other way with the same exact sequencing and timing through the same exact joints and tissues of my entire body. So that's the rainbow. So rainbow is the first most powerful movement with a rope. The second most powerful movement with a rope for the same exact reason would be the smile. So now I'm gonna create little hooks this way. And so think about it. I'm moving through the transverse plane, I'm moving through the sagittal plane, and I'm moving through that frontal plane. So all three planes of motion, all of my tissues, all of my joints, combining together to create this smile or this arc-like movement. <clears throat> so that's the second most powerful movement that we could do with a rope. And then if we wanna add them all together and kind of smooth them out so they don't have a stop and a start and a stop and a start, we could do are figure eight. So the figure eights are gonna create the same exact movements, but it's gonna be a continuous amount of movement. And that figure eight, again, incorporating all three planes of motion, using all the tissues from the toes to the nose, down to the finger toes, fingertip to, I was trying to rhyme it, it didn't work. So down to the fingertips, right, for my figure eight. So those are the three most powerful movements. If you wanna generate even more power, check out Building Athleticism with Battle Ropes in Living.Fit. <laughs>